I, I will in no way allow months. No, I won't uh, allow months more of this. If Parliament refuses to allow Brexit to happen and instead uh, gets its way and decides to delay everything until January or, or possibly longer, uh, in those circumstances can the Government continue with this. And uh, with great regret, I must go directly to the point that the Honourable Gentleman uh, raises. With great regret, I, will, I must say that the, bu the Bill will have to be pulled and we will have to go forward, uh, much as the right Honourable Gentleman may not like it, we will have to go forward to a general election. That's easily said, but not that straightforward. The Prime Minister needs the backing of the House of Commons to get a general election, and there are various different ways that can happen. The Fixed Term Parliament Act of 2011 says the government can have a general election if the motion is agreed. But Boris Johnson needs a two-thirds majority. That's about 434 votes in the House of Commons. Those are the kind of numbers he hasn't even got close to since he moved into Downing Street. Another option is to change the law. The Prime Minister could attempt to pass a bill to repeal the Fixed Term Parliaments Act. That would only take a simple majority, about 300 plus votes. But MPs are unlikely to take such difficult decisions in these turbulent times. Another option is to ask for a vote of no confidence in himself. Now, Boris Johnson is a flexible operator, but even that might be a bit risky for him. It only needs a simple majority in Parliament to pass a vote of no confidence, but it also allows for a 14-day window in which a temporary government can be formed with a new leader. That leader would most likely be Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader. In fact, he would probably insist on it. And there are various parts of Parliament that wouldn't be happy with Jeremy Corbyn being Prime Minister, even for a short period of time. Uh, however, the offer of a second referendum in the mix there somewhere might persuade some of the MPs from smaller parties to come on board.